to today's mission, we received a big donation from a uh, um, retired fire department chief in Port Jervis, New York. Uh, so we received a lot of like uh, used fire equipment and we are preparing to ship it to Ukraine. Also, we have uh, a lot of um, supplies for first aid kits, uh, individual first aid kits, as well as tactical backpacks. Uh, Razom uh, is together for Ukraine. Uh, I didn't, I didn't have like in my worst dream that war will last so long, and right now it's, it become, I mean, I'm embarrassed to say, but it's become a kind of like a, a, a norm. I mean, if not us, who, who else can be? Like, uh, of course, government, but government has much bigger issues. I was born in Ukraine. Many people here were born in Ukraine, so it's, it's our duty. They are kind of refugees helping refugees. And even today we have, a, I believe, at least one person that I know from the top of my head, she's helping us today as well. My name is Valeria Rashkovan. Uh, I live in Ukraine, uh, Konotop city, and now I live in Brooklyn. So the first reason was the fear for the safety of my daughter, because the uh, town was surrounded. All the artillery was pointed at the town, and um, and then there were lots of um, bombing happening, so they had to hide. Oh, yeah, that's very important. Yeah, so the need is great, and that's why I'm here now volunteering and helping. Um, and if it was not for the international help, I don't think that we would um, be able to kind of keep up and you know sustain and um, go on. Like everybody has a valuable mission for regardless of the place they've been placed and if we've been more lucky I would say to be on a safe place so we should be giving as much as we can to the people who have been much less lucky to be in the war zone and be bombarded by all this.